you must go to the registry. Every notice of every valid marriage under the Act must emanate from the registry, from the marriage registry, mm -hmm. which can be Koyim registry and all of that. On the issue of local government, I think we'll take that on another day. I really do not agree with marriages on local government, but I'll say why. But that's not the topic of, hey, so it has to emanate from the marriage registry, which the certificate for the marriage, the registrar certificate is a certificate you're supposed to take to the um, licensed place of worship, which is a church in this regard. Without that certificate, a minister of that denomination is not supposed to contract that marriage. So, and you're supposed to get married in a licensed place of worship. That church must be licensed by the Federal Ministry of Interior. Some marriages are contracted in churches that do not have licenses. For all intents and purposes, such a marriage is known and void. Because at the time that marriage was being contracted, it was not licensed. Some licenses do expire. It's mm -hmm. still the same consequence. Mm -hmm. So the marriage, the license must be valid at the time of contracting a marriage. So for some people, I would say you must, if you want to get married in a church, you're not out of place. To ask if the marriage is if it's a um, licensed church, mm -hmm. and you might even demand to see their license mm -hmm. just to take precaution. Yes, most Orthodox marriage churches are licensed, most of them. But I cannot speak of you know the small Pentecostal churches. Mm -hmm. I cannot speak of them. So even if you desire to marry in such churches, it is you can go through the ceremony which will just amount to church blessings. Mm -hmm. You can then go to the registry to get married. For so it doesn't take anything away from you by doing that. So if I, if, if I get you correctly, if I marry, if I do a, a, a church wedding in a church that's not licensed, it's just a marriage blessing. It is void. It is void. Hmm. Hmm. Very yes. important. So it is within your right as a person who's getting married to ask the church yes. if they are licensed and ask to see the license because you know some people can just tell yes. you that they're licensed and then they're really not. Yes. So because there are a lot of churches coming up and I can bet you most of all the small, small churches don't. I can tell you that the big churches like um, Methodist and big all of that, churches. they okay. might have. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Yes. All the big officers churches. And however, another part of it is the minister who is conducting that marriage must be a minister in that church. So uh -huh. you can't bring you can't bring a minister from Baptist Church to come to Methodist Church to contract the marriage. Really? Is there is there a document where that appears like in I mean like it could be that you were wed by Pastor A B C D. Does he have to say where he's from? You should know that is the church is a is a minister recognized in that church. Oh, so if he's not recognized in that church, then he makes it void too. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, there's a lot that we don't know. There's a lot that we don't know. Because so, okay, so let me explain it. Okay. Let me explain, explain it. Explain. Please explain. So if you go to a church mm -hmm. and you want to get married, mm -hmm. the marriage has to be contracted by a minister in that church, right? Okay. Not you a guest. Done, not a guest senior pastor. No. So you can now tell me that Marianne, because my father is a pastor in um, Calabar, I want a pastor from my dad's church to come and wed me and my husband in my new church in Lagos. Oh. It is null and void. Oh. It has been contracted by a minister in that church. Even and if the certificate, in, uh, even if there's a certificate and everything in place. I think that's that. Even if the church is, I mean, has the right... The license. The license. No, yeah. No, those, those are part of the formalities. Ah. Uh -huh. So it's part of it. Many so, it means, so it means that there are so many void marriages Married. as we speak. Yes. Some people get away with it. Some people don't get away with it. Please wow. go on. Go, so, on, go on. And it has to be conducted between the hours of 8 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. in the afternoon with the doors open. Oh. Ha. Have you heard of that? Ah, <laughs> this law. No, no. So what if there's air conditioning? 
and the doors are shut. Yes. I don't know. Ah. Ah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You'll be surprised. <sighs> Open doors, and in the presence of two witnesses. There have to be two witnesses. <laughs> this is nothing. Uh, because so you see, some of our numbers. churches are closed because well, it's air conditioned. Must Maybe. We, must but they we, don't open. Must we suffer to marry? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, I thought you were going to ask me that there are some times you see people marry at the beach. Uh, in a hotel. Yeah. And like, all of that. Yeah, I, I'd like to marry by the beach. What's wrong with that? You have to obtain a special license. From who? You must go to the registry to obtain a special license from the court re- from the marriage register. Huh. So they will weigh the the requirement of getting married in a licensed church or a marriage registry. It can be waived. Hmm. So you need a li- a special license to conduct that.